We got some new isopods and set up a custom enclosure for them. Find out what we did in this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodopods. I am David and I got some new isopods. I decided because I got some lovely sort of scenery bits that were just sitting around that would get some more isopods and we had a spare enclosure so I thought why not. So we got ourselves some Porcellio scabers and they're commonly known as lavas, some people just call them oranges, although they have loads of different colour morphs and I really like them, they're inexpensive to buy, so I thought let's throw all this stuff together and make an enclosure for them. Now Porcellio scaber have kind of similar requirements to Armadillidium vulgare, so I thought again I know what I'm doing and it's going to be quite easy. And in this video I'm basically going to talk you through the enclosure setup, the introduction to the little guys, unboxing them and just show you what I did with the enclosure. It's not like quite as elaborate as some of the other ones I did but I think it worked quite well and because they're kind of commonly known as lava I thought I'd go for that kind of theme. So to start off let's get some substrate in and the most important part arguably for any enclosure. Just got a pre-prepared bag with the right amount this time. It's a bit easier. I want to give them plenty. Even though you guys aren't the big burrowers it's good to have plenty of substrate. Shake it down. We've got a good inch and a half there and we're going to add some more stuff in a minute. Next up we are going to add some springtails. Springtails make excellent sort of buddies for isopods. These guys are going to be in a cleanup crew, they'll clean up any mess the isopods make and any mould or anything else in the enclosure. So we're going to spoon a couple of spoonfuls from our, our sort of colony into there. Let's get this big chunk at the top because it's absolutely swarming with them in there. I don't want to, I'm not going to, I'll leave that bit there. We'll do two spoonfuls of them. They're jumping around like crazy, hence the name. That'll probably be enough to get their colony started in there. They really are jumping around, so let's leave them to it for a second. So now we've got our base layer of substrate, it's time for some decorations and extras. Now I'm going for a kind of Mordor volcano theme with this. Also got this lovely sign from Madhouse, it's made out of like black slate. So if you uh, want to check them out I'll leave a link in the description. I just love their signs and they really sort of add a bit of character to any enclosure. So let's pop our sign in, I want to put it where it's nice and deep so we'll put it there. It's quite heavy this one so we have to make sure it stands there, it's standing fine. As I'm going for a Mordor volcano theme, it would be sad not to have a volcano, so let's have a volcano in there. Do you reckon in this corner, like that? At the front or around the back? That looks fine to me. Okay. Um, a nice silver feeding dish, because all our ice pods seem to love having feeding dishes. And then obviously we need a bit of a mountain as well, which is going to be their cork bark to hide in. And I've got a little wheel, turning wheel. It's got a bit of blue at the bottom, but I might notice. Just to give it that sort of mordery or Isengard theme. It's only a bit of fun really because I thought it'd be nice. But yeah, I'm going to leave it like that because I want to add lots of other stuff in here as well. So now we have our decorations in. It's time for essentials. And the first thing we want is a hydration area. So I'm going to add in some moss, sphagnum moss onto one side. I'm kind of running out of this, we need to get some more. That's just to retain moisture and to give our isopods somewhere to go to moisturize basically because they do like their moisture. Now with these guys from my research I found they kind of like a quite steep moisture gradient much like my Armadillidium vulgares so I'll be keeping it moist on one side and quite dry on the other. I'm going to add in a couple of bits of just random wood because it's good for them. I'll, I'll, I'll add more in the future and I'm going to add a bit of leaf litter. I'm going to add a lot more leaf litter later because um, they really do benefit from it, but just so it looks nice and thematic kind of for my video, I'm going to add a little bit less now, so you can actually see them crawling around, then I'll add a lot more later on. Last couple of things I want to add in before my ice pods go in, you can see them crawling around, is a nice bit of cuttlefish. Again, it doesn't really fit my theme, but they kind of need it, and I'm not going to skimp on their welfare just because it looks cool. And I'm going to give them a little boost to start off with, which also benefit the springtails of some fish food pellets. I'm going to put some in the bowl and I'm just going to scatter a couple on the ground. I've got two types. My ice pods seem to sort of like, some like the flakes, some like the pellets, so I will give them a bit of both to start until we know what they're doing. And the last thing I'm going to do off camera is add a bit of moisture immediately and then we'll introduce our isopods. Here are our Porcellio scabers. Let's open them up so you can see them a bit better. I think these are really beautiful isopods. They come in such different colour variants. Got a little tray to catch them. Look how quick they're coming out. They really are keen to get out and about. So we have to catch them with our hand and we're going to try and put them in the enclosure. So here's the little guys in their footage top down. You can see some of them scurrying around there. 
They seem pretty happy to be out of their um, temporary dish that I posted in. And we're gonna sort of set it up and I'll show you what it looks like with them all in and the lid closed. And here are the little guys in their enclosure. Although you probably can't see them anymore because most of them are hiding. There's one fella resting here having a snack. But yeah, they're all settled in and for such a simple, cheap little enclosure, it all looks nice to me and they'll hopefully be happy in there. So that's it, that's their enclosure. It's kind of like a Mordor lava theme to go with their coloration. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. These are probably gonna be the last of our isopods, although I have said that about loads of other things and we end up getting more anyway because we really like them. But yeah, hopefully that's it for us. So yeah, shoot down any comments or questions down below. But in the meantime, from me and the new Scabers, take care and see you later.